Welcome back to a new video. Today is a very exciting day. Reason number one, it is Jesse's birthday today. Jason's girlfriend, you guys know that we all have been like, basically, we are quarantining together. Jason works with Max, Jesse's with me all day. So we're gonna do a little surprise. I got some like cute cakes and stuff, which I'm gonna show you guys. They can come in like any moment. So I kind of need to write this note a little quick thing. Today's video is actually sponsored by J Fudo. And we're gonna have a bento box delivered and we're going to do a sake tasting. I didn't know this, but sake really brings out the umami flavor out of food. And we're about to experience this today. So I'm really excited because who is not excited for a sake tasting? I got the cart ready. They're supposed to be here at nine, but they're always a little late. So I got some like pastries, some like flowers, and this is a present. It is actually a Japanese knife because Jesse and I love both cooking so much. We're like every day in the kitchen, like making food for the boys, for ourselves. Um, so I got her a really nice Japanese knife. So yeah, we're gonna have a little birthday um, breakfast. And then this afternoon, we're gonna drink some sake. Okay, Jason just texted me. They are in front of the door. So we're gonna surprise him. We have a little present for you. <laughs> we all need to be aware of the kitchen now. <laughs> Sana has a knife and Jesse has a knife. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to get ready for the day. And because it's kind of like a little celebration, I kind of wanted to also put like a cute outfit on because I just have been wearing sweats all the time. And maybe like give my hair a little volume. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. If something green could be cute there, that's fine, right? Or like another tank top, but just like, yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. fine. And we are ready. I'm wearing this like cute top from Song of Style. This is like a Majuri necklace. I think these I just got from Urban Outfitters a long time ago. So cute. Jesse and I are going to set the table and then our lunch and sake should be here very soon. Jesse, are you excited for sake? I'm so excited. Let's start setting up the table. We will need two glasses each for our sake tasting today. So apparently sake really enhances the umami flavor in seafood. And today we're gonna try this and experience it ourselves. Are you excited for some sake? Yeah. Yeah? You remember we had sake in um, Dong Dong? Yeah, we also had in sake York? at the yakitori place that we were in in Ooh. Japan right before we went to karaoke yes. in Tokyo last year in November last year oh my god this was literally yeah. exactly a year ago that we were in Japan. exactly we're in January now oh yeah we're already in January I'm sorry I'm, my mind's still in Thanksgiving we were there during Thanksgiving hello wow <laughs> Here. It's very heavy. It is one sake bottle per person for each. All five. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. I think this is the best uh, birthday day we could do. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there's a little letter in here. Wow. Unlock your palate. Seafood and sake. That's right. That's beautiful. Okay, we need to put all the sake in the fridge. Well, they're already chilled. Oh, they are. Mm -hmm. I have done like five like, tastings, but like never. Oh, I guess we don't even need a plate today. <laughs> we should keep the box. It's very nice. Yeah, I like that. 
unlock your palette. There we go. Aww, look how pretty. Brian, who is a sake specialist, is going to lead us through the sake tasting. So I'm really stoked because I honestly, I do not know that much about sake. So time to educate. Hey, this was one of my New Year's resolution. Learn. <laughs> Okay, I literally just spilled all water on my top, so I just changed again. Is Brian still there? He can hear us? Hello. Wow, this is what the chef prepared for us. These are poached uh, oysters, shrimp cocktail, crab roll. I think this one is the kombu cured whitefish, tuna pastrami, and a tarine consistence of mussels. Wow. Okay, so Brian here is going to lead us through each dish and pair it with the right sake to really enhance our umami flavor. I just wanted to ask, like, what what kind of experience do you all do you have with sake? We've all had sake. My experience with it has been both here in the U.S. and also in Japan. My mother is nice. Japanese, so I've gone back many times and. I think Sana and I have had a few nights out with sake as well, so you know we're definitely are familiar with it, but never to this level. Uh, we never combined it with foods, thinking about umami flavors and trying to pull more flavor out of the food. So it's gonna be really interesting. I'm excited. I cook sometimes with sake, but that's a different sake than you drink. So I would sure. make like miso salmon or miso cut. Um, but I have to say, when I was in the supermarket and I look at all the sakes everywhere, I kind of get a little lost because I'm like, I don't really <laughs> yeah. know what. So I'm so excited to kind of learn, um, yeah, more about that. It can that. be a little overwhelming. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And for me, sake is kind of my drink of choice, especially in the summertime, um, just because I find it to be super refreshing. For me, I think I, I'm more just drink it when it's there. Uh, maybe some sushi. <laughs> Let me show you guys which sake we're going to try today. What is sake actually? Sake is a fermented alcoholic beverage made from rice, water, yeast and koji, a fungus that starts the fermentation process. My first time trying it was actually in a Japanese restaurant in New York City with Max together. So we have an oyster here that's been poached. It's been drizzled with a, a little bit of a barbecue sauce and we're gonna do something called a sake drop where we're actually going to add a little bit of sake directly to the oyster kind of an extra umami boost. The um, glutamic acid in sake is gonna meet with this inosinic acid in the shellfish and they kind of work together to create like um, an amplified effect. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> mm. wow, all. Oh. I can tell you this, this was a, 100 better experience than the last time I had oysters. It's really good. Wow, it's totally really good. Really good Let's put some more sake Actually, in there. Let's put some more sake. I'm trying to have a drunk oyster. Not a tipsy one. Cheers, cheers, cheers. This kind of feels very light. It's like a little like cotton candy in your mouth. Yeah. It just disappears. Do you guys want to move on and, and try something else? Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Let's go to the next one. So let me explain to you guys what we are experiencing here. Have you ever heard about the flavor umami? Umami is sometimes referred to as the fifth taste. It is a savory experience that is the result of certain amino acids working in syn energy. It is often more described as a feeling than a flavor. I will personally describe it as a savory broth. That's what it really reminded me of. When sake is paired with seafood, it boosts the umami flavor. So it's made out of rice and naturally gluten and sulfur free. Cheers. Cheers. It's also often used in beauty products because there are enzymes in the koji that apparently have some amazing healing benefits. We're going to take a bite of the crab roll without sake. See how it tasted, how the flavors come out. Then we're going to drink some sake and try crab roll again and see if 
something changes in your taste palette. Mm. Mm. The crab roll actually has 0.45. Uh, the other ones are between like 30 and 40, so this one is the highest. So here we should really taste the combo. Okay. Oh wow, it does wow. change the difference. <laughs> oh my god, so good. Wow. For everyone who has been following me for a while, always when we're traveling and trying new food, we want a first impression. A number and the first thing that comes up in their mind. One word, one number. Let's go. Sweet. I get a nine. I like this. I'm gonna go with seven. And I will say clear. I would give it an eight and a half. It feels very light. I don't know why, but for me, when I drink this, I think clarity. And I would have to give it like an eight and a half. Cheers. Cheers. Wait, this is the first time I'm drink alcohol in like months. Months. Oh wow. This is gonna hit hard. Bye. This is very similar to some of the sakes that I would have um, back when I was in New York in the summertime. Like it has that same crisp, light feel where like you can drink not a lot of this, but you can drink enough of this and not feel that weight that like I think wine has. Yeah. Is this a group's favorite then? And one word, better than wine. By the way, you have to give me a dollar or so. Apparently, <laughs> Max, Max mom called me about this specifically. I gave you a Japanese knife for your birthday. Okay. But it's bad luck to receive a knife. You always need to like, as a gift, you can't receive a knife. So oh. if you like give a dollar, okay, I'll then it's like you have good luck. <laughs> Which one did you like the best? My, my favorite? Yeah. Very easy. Summer snow. <laughs> That's yours? Yeah. Oh. You're next. Oh, oh, four for four. Okay, guys, so this hours. one really blew our mind. It was amazing. Um, I will actually link it down below as so well in the description. Yeah, this tastes for yourself and pair sake with a seafood because it's really, really amazing. I love it. Thank you for inviting me to this. This Thank was a lot of fun. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Then I take him a nap. Rosy cheeks. So we finished our sake tasting this afternoon, which was honestly so much fun. It's kind of fun to do like a little activity, something you know, at home, and it almost felt like we were a little bit like out. I am tired. I'm exhausted, so I'm going to take a shower and a little skincare routine, and then we're gonna go to bed. Feeling so fresh. I'm going to do a little face mask because my skin is like really dry. This is the Sonia Dakar Rose Gold Max, which is one of my favorites. Sake is also used in a lot of like Japanese skincare and beauty products because of all the amazing benefits and it really makes the skin very like soft and Flexible, I don't know, flexible if that's a good word to say it. And apparently the traditional geishas used it as well, like before they start putting makeup on um, to really like purify the skin. So it's not only for drinking. I actually am dying to like try it. So if you guys have any like recommendation of maybe like a Japanese product or brand uh, with sake in it, would love to know. Let this sit for about 10 minutes. I am all freshened up and ready to go to my bed. Oh, no better place in the world than my bed. So Max had to fly out to New York City tonight because he has a job which doesn't really happen a lot now because of you know travel and flying and all these things so yeah i have to bed alone tonight anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's foodie vlog let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more of these and also don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for many more videos i think i'm going to dream about sake and Japanese seafood. <laughs> Love you guys. Mm.